and welcome back to another shell finding adventure our first shell today i just saw it because it's super colorful look at that guy yeah this one oh my goodness isn't that cool it is a type of pearl oyster i'm pretty sure this is the uh the wing pearl oyster if i'm getting that right wow it's got a lot of barnacles on the side of it that's pretty cool it should be like shiny and silver on the inside it's a bit hard to show it though but yeah super duper cool looking guy oh <laughs> i did not see that when i picked up that pearl oyster Ooh. oh i we think he's a little bit broken we've got ourselves a teeny little wintle trap probably a precious wental trap i kid you not that is oh hello doggy this one's just waiting for me <laughs> there's another one hello <laughs> hello hello i want to look at this one oh my goodness i grabbed it up before the doggies could send it flying oh my goodness sitting upside down atop a piece of coral <laughs> My second shell find today is a lovely carrier shell. Look at that guy. Oh, luck is smiling on me this morning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the second wental trap today. This isn't even where I usually go into like the micro shell pile. This is just like randomly here. Oh wow, look at that one. Maybe a Lamelos Wendell Trap, just a bit uh, taller with a few more spines on it than that precious Wendell Trap from earlier. Very, very cool. Oh, look at this one. Do you have the tip? You look like you might. Oh, no, he is missing a bit of his tip. Oh, that sure fooled me. Gosh, doesn't that guy look lovely? I think it is probably, um, I want to say a partridge ton. But I could be wrong. It could be a beer barrel ton. Ooh, look at him. Isn't he a white one? Yeah, let's take a look. Ooh, he's nice. I think he's just got a little bit of a broken tip. But yeah, this guy should be um probably an egg white moon snail, I think. Lots of shell grit around here. But my eyes just noticed a little graceful cowrie. There we go. The low tide is actually quite high today. It's probably a better day to go micro shelling. This little uh, rock pool here is usually empty when I get to it, but uh, I see quite a nice looking Spangler's Trump. Am I even pointing to it? A Spangler's Trumpet right there. Let's grab that one out. Oh. And then we'll have a little look to see if there's anything else in here. Yeah, this guy, this guy. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh yeah, I didn't find any Spangler's Trumpets last time. I figured they maybe weren't around anymore. Yeah, that's a cool one. Nice little blue cowrie. Let's take a look at you. Yeah, he's a pretty nice one, I think. Very, very cool. Oh gosh, doesn't that look like a good scallop? Yeah, you hole. Oh, you are hole. There we go. It is one of those commercial scallops we get here. I always love the ones with a lot of red on them. I just think they're very, very cool. Lots of shells nestled in here. I see a couple of cowries. I see a rusty cronia, broken zebra volute, some uh, zebra shells like these guys. But what caught my eye is this one. Look at how big he is. Oh my goodness, he is large. Actually, I think it was better in the shade. Yeah, he is a nice big clandestine cowrie. Actually, he's very big. He's probably the biggest one I've ever found. Oh, we got one. Uh, oh, where did you go? This one. Oh, this one, this guy. Oh, wow. Up, up, there we go. Yeah, it's one of those scallops or clams or whatever they're called that I like. Oh my goodness, he's got a great pattern on him. Really, really like finding these ones. I think I see a very nice looking snakehead just down there. Yeah, let's take a look at you. Wow. Yes. Oh, yes, that one does feel quite good. Yep, I like that. I think that is a very, very nice snakehead cowrie. Well, the rock pools are getting a bit too dangerous around that side of the beach, so let's check some rack lines. I have for myself a very lovely scaly scallop. Just love the color on that one.
Yes, picking up that little minis has increased my luck because look at that. Are you whole on top? Oh, it is whole on top. Oh my, would you look at that lovely big sundial shell. I mean, it's big for what I would find. I've been, I've been given a lot of very big sundial shells by a lovely lady uh, elsewhere in the world. Oh my goodness, that is a wonderful little guy. Little abalone right here. Yes, it does look good. I wasn't sure for a minute if it would be whole or not. Um, I'm going to guess, I got no idea. It's one of two abalones. I'm gonna guess it's the Brazier's abalone. It could be the Caloundra abalone. I've been working up a few off camera minis right here. Another little abalone, some coral. Nice little nur right there. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of pheasant shell on the rack line today. It's always good to see. I'm just gonna grab up a whole bunch. That one looks really cool. That is a nice big pheasant shell. Just noticed another mini, doesn't he look nice? Yes, I have been calling these ones the Coro Moon Snails uh, because Coro is part of their name and they don't have a common name. Very cool little white moon snail guys on the rack line. And right up here, yes, two pieces, muscles. There we go, got two pieces of lovely lace coral. Oh, I like this one. No, it's not a sunray Venus, but it sure looks something similar to it. It's like the Australian version. I don't think it has a common name, but yeah, very cool shell. Oh yes, I am checking the back of the rack line first. Look what I've just seen. I figured most people wouldn't be looking up here because it's a bit harder to walk on. Oh, pain. Oh no, that hurts so much. Oh, you know, I do usually find them more whole than broken though, so I guess I can't complain. It had to happen at some stage to have a broken one. Oh my goodness, I am still gonna keep it though. Oh man, I don't usually pick up too many of these, but this one looks cool. Yeah, this one. Here's a slit worm shell. Because of that slit going through it, I guess a little worm lives in there instead of a snail. Pretty cool. And yes, just noticed our cute little scallop. Oh my goodness, I just love our thin little scallops here. I think they're just absolutely wonderful and colorful and adorable. Oh, nice. I do like these ones. In this little pile here, I've got myself an obelisk creeper snail. Yep, creepers at the beach, who would have thought? There's a lot of the, uh, the typical usual suspects on the rack line today. Lots of lovely pheasant shells, lots of lovely beans, got some lace coral once again. I've noticed right here, my second sundial. How do you look on top? Oh, oh, I'm dropping things. Oh, would you look at him? Oh my goodness, he's like yellow with, with white around the edge. Oh, he's very cool. I think he might be different than the first one I picked up. Oh my goodness, I have found the queen of the rack line. Look at this lovely lady. Oh my goodness, it looks like a, a cowrie, but it's not, it's an avula shell. Uh, that just means it's a type of eggshell. Avula is an eggshell. Oh my goodness, that is lovely. I'm pretty sure, oh, don't drop it. I'm pretty sure they can become very pink in color. If I'm thinking it is what it is. I think it's um, something like a Kavanaugh's Avula, something like that. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. It's only the second one I've ever found. Continuing on, yes? Oh yes, it is whole. We have a lovely zebra shell. Wonderful little find. Lots of live ones around here too. You can usually find a bunch of them on the rock pools and stuff. Oh, it looks like someone has squashed it down. The question remains, is it whole? Oh, yes! Yes, it is whole! Oh my goodness! Wait, is that a... Yeah, it's a grape. I thought it might have been a limousina for a minute. Yes, that is a lovely grape cow. He's a bit unusual. He doesn't have all that nice yellow on his um, little ridges there. But oh my, very happy with him. You... Oh, oh it is whole! Oh, it is whole! Oh my goodness! There we go, got a better focus on him. Wow, look at that moon snail. Doesn't he have a funky pattern? Oh, he's pretty small, it's hard for me to turn him around in the sun. There we go, no idea what this one's called, but wow, isn't he super lovely? 
Oh, this guy is cool. Yeah, look at him. He is a cap-shaped false limpet. A false limpet because he breathes air instead of water. But yeah, I usually find white ones of these. I love finding them with all that black on there. That is just super duper cool. Ooh, I saw this guy and I thought it was a broken bonnet, but it's not. Here's the little bear conch. Oh my, isn't he adorable? I don't find all that many of them, so he is a very nice little one to get. Whoa, this one. I thought it was a um, another gaudy dog whelk. But, uh, you know, I'm not actually sure. Is that like a really mini bonnet or something? Wow, he's just super cool. He's got like a, I don't know, great color on him. I, I like it. It's good. I don't know what it is. Oh, I was literally that close to stepping on it. Oh, how do you look on top, good sir? Oh, you're missing the tip, but you know I still love you. Wow, it is my second carrier shell today. How about that? Ooh, I see something good. This one. Oh, wow, yes. I was, I was about to be disappointed because I thought it was all broken because there was a little hole in the front of it right there. But the rest of it looks really nice. Yeah, definitely. That is a super cool rosy spindle cowrie. Not a cowrie at all, it is a shuttle shell. I think that is my first crowned cone today. Oh, it looks like a good one at least. Yeah, what a great crowned cone. Also, yes, I think it definitely is my first one. I have not found terribly many cones and cowries today. Oh, oh, I just finished wrapping up my video and I just spotted this as I was walking off the beach. Oh, yes, it is whole. Oh my goodness, right next to all that smelly sea sponge is an actual treasure. I've got myself a very beautiful juvenile Arabian cowrie right here. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. I gotta say guys, it was a pretty slow day. There wasn't a much in the way of shell finds. There's lots of broken shells today though. Anyway, it is time to talk about a favorite, so let me know down in the comments which ones were your favorites as well. I gotta say, we did start off strong with this winged oyster right here. Looks really cool, especially with the barnacles. The, uh, the barnacles won't come off because I won't bleach bath it. You don't bleach these oysters, so that's really cool. Found that lovely carrier shell right there. Super pleased with him. I, I don't wanna take him out. I'm pretty sure I'll mess up the entire thing. <laughs> found this lovely little Wendell trap right here. He's just got a fantastic little point on him. Really, really, really stoked with that. But, uh, but my favorite today, oh my goodness, what do I pick? I, I really, it's not my favorite, but I do want to give it a mention. I really like this little micro shell. Don't think I'll ever know what that is. It looks like a bonnet to me, perhaps. I think that's just really adorable. But my favorite is another micro shell. It's gonna be this one. Yes, it is the extremely cool Avula shell. Very nice. I think they can get quite a bit more pinker though. I think I found one pretty pink one once. This one's just a little bit paler, but gosh, it's just big and beautiful and lovely. So that is my favorite for the day. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. 